Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be a how-to guide and how to completely customize your Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet. And we're going to be doing it from within one application and it's totally free. Let's get started. You guys, before I get started today, I want to give a quick shout out to Digital Chad Tech. Brand new channel on YouTube. I'm going to link his channel down in the description. He's a super cool dude. I highly recommend you guys go check him out. Show him some love, show him some support. Tell him Raider sent you over. Let's get him off to a good start because I think he's going to do great things here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, in order to get started, you're going to want to head out to the Samsung Galaxy Store and download the free application called GoodLock. It's made by Samsung. It's a free download. Go ahead and get that installed. Once you have that installed, you want to go ahead and get that open. Let's do that real quick. Here's GoodLock. All right, so here it is. Here's the main screen that you see in front of you. You'll see here at the bottom, we have two different sections. One is called Unit, and one is called Family. We want to head over to the Family section. And what we're focused on today is a module within the GoodLock application called Theme Park. So go ahead and click on that to download it. You only have to do that one time. And then once it's installed, go ahead and head back into GoodLock. And then you're going to go ahead and access this application. So Theme Park is one of many modules within GoodLock. I'll go ahead and link a GoodLock tutorial down in the description. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the Theme Park module and take our Galaxy tablet or your Galaxy phone to the limits as far as customization goes. It really is an awesome module within GoodLock. So go ahead and click on it to get started. You're going to see here at the bottom that we have five different little tabs that we can click on. One is called Theme, Keyboard, Quick Panel, Icon, and then Volume Panel. Basically what we're going to be able to do is customize each one of these sections of our Galaxy tablet or phone. It's pretty flippin' awesome. All right, so we've got Theme selected. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on Create New. All right. It's giving you some options of how you want to start off. Do you want to start off using your current wallpaper or something from the gallery? For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to pick the current wallpaper. It's going to load it up. It gives you the option of zooming in and cropping in on a piece of the wallpaper that you want to use. You're going to click Done. All right. And then you're going to click Next. Now it's going to pull up a customization screen, and it's going to allow you to customize a lot of your main panels on your Galaxy tablet or phone. Let's walk through some of the features that this has. So let's start up at the top. In the top right corner, you're going to see a download button. You're going to click this after we're done doing everything, and it's going to save your theme. So we'll go back to that in just a moment. In the icon right next to it that looks like a moon, this will switch your control panels from being dark theme to light theme. Here, let's give it a try. See what it does there for your text messages and your quick toggles and whatnot? And then next to it, we have a toggle to go in between edit mode and preview mode. Here we go. So now we are in this mode and this mode. This will let you see each one. In addition to that, we have the ability to change the overall color of all our backing stuff. You see here in the text, it goes brown a little bit. We go over here to blue. It's going to switch it up. Let's go back to blue. There we go. There's blue. So it'll mix up the actual color theme. So that's an awesome way to make some general changes to the overall look and feel. But let's dive a little bit deeper, all right? So let's go ahead and kind of go back to the default here, right? We're back to our black screen. If you go ahead and click on the leftmost icon in the top corner, this is going to pull you into a different style of pane, which lets you go through each one of your different things, your keyboard settings here, your icon looks and feel, all that stuff. And you can basically click on any one of these, right? It's going to load up. And now we can change and we can crop in on the picture and the functionality that we want to use. So we can do anything from theme park or the gallery. Watch this. I'll go ahead and pick something in the gallery. Let's do that real quick. We're going to pick the amount of it that we want to crop and use. Go ahead and hit done. Okay. The wallpaper in your edits will be initialized. Click OK. Boom. Look what it did. Just change the entire background there. And this is for the static pages on it, not just the wallpaper itself. All right, let's go back. Now you can do that on either one of these screens. Now look how it affected your icon view here. We can go here and click on this. And you'll see here on the screen that there's a couple red little circles that you can click on, right? And we also have some blur level and other options down at the bottom. So let's walk through these for a little bit. So the blur level, you can see it kind of adjusting the text and the overall feel of it, the opacity of it. And these red circles that you can click on allow you to change certain elements from within the particular panel that you're on. So let's go ahead and click on this topmost one. All right. Let's go ahead and change this color. Let's take the transparency off, saturation. Let's make it green, right? Let's pick something we can easily see. Click OK. 
Look what happened, it just changed our toggles to green, right? We have this other red dot here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Let's give it a different color, how about yellow? All right, let's pick a yellow color and you'll see it here listed up top here and it'll give you the RGB values as well, which is great for copy and paste if you wanna use this among different parts of the theme. Go ahead and click OK. Now look what it did. Just changed a bunch of our stuff, right? And here's a cool thing too. If you don't like any of the changes that you made, you can click on those X's and it will undo your changes. Watch, let me show you. Click that one, boom, the green turned back to blue. And let's get rid of this yellow real quick. Okay, awesome. So this gives you an idea of what you can do on each one of these panels. Now when you're done making your changes, all you're gonna do is go back. Let's say we like everything we've done so far with our theme. We've gone through each one of these panels and we've done all our edits. Now you're gonna click the topmost right button here, and this is gonna prompt you for a name of your theme that you just created. So we're gonna do test one. All right, let's go ahead and click okay. Now, it takes a few seconds here, but what it's doing is initializing and installing the theme on your device for you to use. All right, cool, so when it's done, it gives you instructions too. It, seemed, it says the theme has been installed. Click to apply. So if we wanna actually see this theme in action, Let's go ahead and click it. We'll apply it. Here's our new theme. Here's our toggles in blue, right? Really cool stuff here. All right, so that kind of sums up what you can do in the main theme section. All right, next up, let's move on to the keyboard module. All right, now we're on to the keyboard section. This section is awesome as well. So let's go ahead and create new, just like we did before. All right. So it's gonna throw up a mini version of a keyboard layout for you to look at. Now we have some similar functionality like we have before. They kind of move the buttons around a little bit. They put the night theme and day theme button over to the left instead of in the middle. You can see we can switch back and forth if you wanna pick either one of those. And then the edit button is right next to it in the middle. So we go ahead and click on that and this switches to the preview mode. And now if we click it again, we're back into the edit mode. Once again, just like before, you'll see a bunch of these red circles, right? And this allows you to fine tune and customize each one of the aspects of your keyboard. Let's go ahead and start with some. Click on this. We'll pick a color instead of an image. Let's go ahead and pick yellow. Look what it did. We just changed our key colors to yellow and I can click the X to cancel those changes. All right, let's change some more settings. We have the key press up here. Let's go ahead and switch this to a color. We'll pick yellow here, just so you can see it easily when we make the changes. So now when you press and hold a key, it's gonna show the W, like it's showing as an example, in yellow. So as you're typing, they will pop up in yellow. So we can change that. Let's go ahead and keep it actually, because I wanna save this keyboard and show it to you guys. So let's go back here and change the keyboard color to green. I dig it. We have green keys. We have a yellow key press. Let's add a little bit more contrast. We'll do another color here. Uh, I don't want yellow, let's do red this time, okay? We got a nice bright red there. Let's click okay. Boom, we got an outer background. I'm liking this keyboard already. Look what we have down here. We can adjust our key styles. So instead of these square buttons, we can make them kind of circle looking. We can pick this one here. Look how it changes them up. It'll pick the different styles. We'll go back here. Pretty awesome, I like that. I like these round ones kind of right here. That's cool. You can also do major color overhaul changes too if you wanna change the entire keyboard. Once you're done, once you like it, go ahead and let's look at the preview of it. That's gonna be what it looks like when you're done. Let's go ahead and download and save this. All right, so we will call this keyboard one. All right, the keyboard has been saved and now we can use it. Let's go ahead and enable it by clicking on it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit apply. Cool, it's selected. So if we minimize here and I go to call up the keyboard, bam, look what we have. That's actually a pretty awesome looking keyboard. I'm not gonna lie, I like these like big vibe colors here. That's awesome. Wow, I might actually keep that for a while. It's in your face. Here we go, a completely new keyboard without installing any third party apps all done within Theme Park. And you can make as many of these custom keyboards as you want, save them, and pull them up quickly with just a touch of a button. All right, let's go back into Theme Park. All right, next up, let's move on to the Quick Panel module. All right, so now we're on the Quick Panel section. Same thing happens again. We're gonna go ahead and click Create New. All right, now your quick toggles, of course, are this right here, right? We're gonna go ahead and customize this panel quite a bit here. So we're gonna go ahead and we have all these different color options. We can do some changes right on the fly to them. We can go back 
and change them like this, okay? And that's gonna change the overall vibe of them. Just like before, we have the little red circles that allow us to do some customization to each one of the sections. Let's go ahead and try them out. I wanna go ahead and switch it to black so it's not blinding you guys. All right, cool, just a nice subdued background. Let's go ahead and click on this one. It's gonna be the option to pick a current color or different color. We can pick the saturation as well. Let's go ahead and pick a yellow. Okay, we'll keep the saturation high. Click OK. All right, so now when we click on a toggle, it's gonna to now be yellow. Let's go ahead and click on another one of these. And let's pick red real quick. Let's keep the saturation high. Let's go ahead and try this out. Wow, look at that, pretty cool, right? So now your notification areas are in red and they're separated by some black. What other customizations do we have? Look at that red circle right there. Let's do it again. Saturation. This time, let's pick a nice blue. Something bright, something that's gonna stand out there. Wow, check that out. You know what? I think I'm done here. Like, like I said, each one of these red bubbles allows you to customize more and more stuff. I'm liking the look and feel of this one already. So I'm pretty happy with it. And again, like before with the keyboard, you have the blur effect too. That'll take some of the uh, sharpness off and make it more blended in together. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's save it. We're gonna give it a name. We'll call it QP1 for quick panel one. All right. All right, it's installing this part of the theme. I consider each one of these little things like a module within the theme park module, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and pick it, same thing again. Go ahead and click on it to apply. So we have quick panel one right here in the middle. I don't know why I put it in the middle, but it's there. Let's go ahead and click it, apply. Let's check it out. Swipe down, look at our new quick panel, guys. Huh, is that awesome or what? Now let's move on to the icon module. All right, so now we're on to the icon section. All right, so again, we're gonna do create new, just like before. All right, it's gonna throw up a quick little screen of what your icons look like. And this time you don't have a day or night mode theme switcher, you just have the ability to preview and edit. So this is preview mode, and here is edit mode, okay? So the first thing we can do is we can change the overall shape of our icons. Check this out, if I pick stars, it's gonna turn them all to stars. We have these little bubbles, we have uh, circles, and we have the default. We can actually go ahead and adjust the color, the overall color of any of these. Let's go ahead and pick that red. I like that actually. Boom. See the red outline there. Let's go ahead and go back here. Try yellow. Let's pick a bright yellow. Let's see. Boom. Gives it that yellow tint right there. That's pretty cool. We also have some more options right here. We have a size. So you can Fine tune the overall size of your icons. Look how we make them a lot smaller there. We're making them a lot bigger. All right, I think that's pretty rad. So I don't like the yellow color here. Let's go ahead and mix it up to a green. I'm cool with green. All right, there's our green. Let's go ahead and do the needful here and save. All right, the icon pack is finally done installing. This one takes a while. That sat there and ran for a good 60 to 90 seconds before it was completed. Let's go ahead and click on icon one here. All right, we're gonna click apply. Give it just a minute. Switch us to portrait mode for a second. We'll get it back, don't worry. All right, go back here. Look at our icons up top here now, guys. Nice and green. Look at them in here. So it's like taking Material U to a next level here. Look at that, it themed them all out. Man, I actually like that a lot. That's pretty cool. So very cool way of completely customizing your icons in addition to that, while you're inside this icon module, you have this apps theme setting. You can now apply a certain theme to each one of these apps within here. So you can, you can adjust each one of these and you see how they're all on right now. That means you're choosing to override the defaults with the green that we picked. Oh, before we exit out of the icon section, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. Go ahead and click back on the icon, go to edit, right? So we're gonna go back to edit it. And now we're gonna click on these three ellipses. I forgot to show you the guys this. We can change the individual icons. Check this out. So we'll click on this. Here's any one of these, right? So let's look at this Uber one, right? We got the Uber icon. I can click on this. I can literally change it from different wallpaper themes that I have installed or something from my gallery. Let's check this out. Gallery, I'm gonna pick the little rain theme we got going on here. Look at Uber. The Uber application now got a custom icon that we assigned. 
All right, and that's how you edit icons with Theme Park. All right, so we have one more section to cover. And our final customization option is the volume panel. Let's go ahead and click on that and start customizing it. All right, so now we're on the volume panel section, the final area that we can uh, make an adjustment. Now the volume panel is this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the volume, hit the ellipsis here. All right, it's gonna pull up this panel here. You see mine's pretty subdued and boring. Let's go ahead and rock this thing out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. All right. So right off the bat, we got some colors that we can use. Right now, mine's defaulting to green. We can also fine tune these just like before. We have the little circles that you can click on and make some wholesale adjustments. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll click this one. Let's go for a yellow again. Click OK. All right, so that's gonna be on when you tap on them. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Let's make this a light blue. How about that? Cool, I like that. I'm digging that one a lot. Let's change some more aesthetics of it. All right, let's go ahead and make this a red. And I'll turn the saturation down just a little bit so it's not too in your face. Okay, so that's gonna be the little text up there. Looks like we have a couple more we can click on. Let's try them all this time, just so we see what they all do. Let's pick a slightly different color. We'll go green here and I'll go like a purple shade. All right, cool, change the background to a purple. And we'll go ahead and click the last one, which I can barely see here on that purple, but that's all right. Let's turn the saturation up. Let's pick a color here. Um, I'm gonna do like an orange. How's that? Like this orangish color. Click OK. Oh, see that took away the, uh, shows you where it's full and then what's left. That's where that orange comes into play. So I kind of like this, pretty cool. Oh, uh, we also have a night mode, night theme and day theme, forgot to mention that. And here's our edit preview, just like before. And we'll go back into edit mode. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll call it V1 for volume one. All right, click OK. All right, guys, so we've completed making a new volume panel. Let's go ahead and pick it so we can select it. We named it V1. We'll go ahead and pick that, click Apply. All right, that was pretty fast. So now we've gone through every one of the little sub modules within the Theme Park module within Samsung Goodlock, completely free from the Galaxy Store. You can install this on any of your Samsung Galaxy devices, and it'll let you do everything that we just did here in this video. Let's take a look at the final result, right? We have all these different icons. We've switched them out to be green. We can change the shape of them. You see how they got that kind of yellowish circle around most of them. It doesn't override all of them, but for a majority of the ones that it can, it will. If we go back down, we look at our volume panel. Let's take a look at it. Check that out. Just like we customized and made. Let's go ahead and look down at our quick toggles. Pretty awesome, right? That looks really cool. I like that a lot. And let's check out our keyboard that we made. Whoa, going to the extreme. So we got a lot of different colors going on. We've mixed this up completely. You can go into any one of these sub modules and create as many of these as you want, pick and choose. And if you don't like any of this, you'll just go back here, right? Go back to your wallpapers and styles, right? You can go to my wallpapers. You can go right back to the default one. Click lock and home screen. And then it'll ask you to choose a color palette so you can override it, apply with the default one. And now when you go back to your screen, we're right back to defaults. See that, guys? Let's see if it even does it for the volume. Right back to defaults. That includes the volume panel. That includes your keyboard. That includes everything. So you have a quick, easy way to just abort the entire mission, completely exit out of all the theme park settings, and get right back to the default to where you were. So just go in and set your wallpaper and apply the material use settings like we showed there with the color palette. You're all set. You're right back to square one. All right, guys, this concludes my in-depth tutorial of Theme Park, one of the many modules within Samsung Goodlock. Highly recommend you check it out, play around with them. As always, thanks for watching.